Good morning to all my wonderful viewers out there. Welcome back to another episode of Streetwear Talk, where we talk about the latest streetwear releases, streetwear collections, and just streetwear in general. In today's episode, we have to talk about a pretty monumental collection, which has got a lot of people divided down the middle on how they feel about it. What collection are we going to be talking about in particular today? Well, we're going to be covering all the release details, all the pieces that are releasing in, and of course, my thoughts and opinions on the Yoji Yamamoto Supreme Collaboration, which is releasing for week four of Supreme's Fall Winter 2020 collection. Yeah, guys, so it's real! <laughs> <laughs> the Yoji Yamamoto Supreme Collaboration is real. And you know, high-end fashion lovers of Yoji Yamamoto, from what it looks like, by and large, don't like it because they don't like Yoji being seen with Supreme. And the Supreme hype beast lovers are like, I have no idea what Yoji Yamamoto is, but it says Supreme on it, so I'm buying it. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's like two, it's two totally different areas of fashion where they don't generally come together and because streetwear hype fashion everything like that has come in with high-end fashion and japanese fashion it's just caused this rift where everyone in every single comment section of every article every post is just complaining about it hating on it it's just it's just crazy man <laughs> I honestly don't care. There are some awesome pieces in here. I'm here for the awesome pieces. The pieces that I don't like, I'm obviously not going to go for. But I, I, I mean, I'm Australian, so I can't go for any of it. But I mean, I could always lowball someone on Grailed, right? So I do potentially have a chance of picking some of this up. So yeah, uh, pff, big stuff. I, I honestly doubted it. In every single Sneakers and Stuff podcast episode we did, I was like, and there's rumors. We don't know if it's actually happening. But it's happening, and in today's video, we're going to be using a Hypebeast article to cover all the release details, cover all the images of this Yoji Yamamoto Supreme Fall Winter 2020 collection. Now, if you guys want me to keep covering upcoming Supreme releases, maybe upcoming Yoji Yamamoto releases, or just upcoming streetwear releases in general, don't forget to leave a big old like on this video, a comment in the comment section down below, and a subscribe to the channel, as we are trying to aim for 2,700 subscribers before the end of September. It's been a bit of a slow month for us guys, but I feel like with our continuous support that you guys give us, we can reach that milestone before the end of September. But let's press on. Let's head on over to that Hypebeast article today and we'll read about and have a look at all the images of the Supreme Yoji Yamamoto 2020 Collaboration Collection. Here is the article. Now, before we even go into the article, if the Yoji Yamamoto Collection is anything like the Jean-Paul Gaultier Collaboration of 2019, it's going to be Supreme and Yoji redoing old like iconic pieces from his old collections that's what it was for Jean-Paul Gaultier's I can imagine it's going to be on the same like you know idea train in this one you know I feel like they're going to do the same thing I don't know though we'll read into the article to see if that's the case I just thought I'd quickly make that statement before we read the article because I feel like that's what it's going to be so I oh and also I won't be able to tell initially because I'm not the biggest Yoji Yamamoto fanboy like I don't I don't go into every single seasonal collection he's done for the past 30 years and be like, ah, yes, this one was way better than this one, yada, yada, yada. I'm just like, oh, Yoji, I love his trench coats. I love a lot of his, um, you know, uh, coats, uh, outwear, things like that. That's cool. That's as far as my Yoji Yamamoto knowledge goes, you know, and I know a little bit of his backstory. That's about it. I'm not like a huge Yoji Yamamoto sweat, you know, like I know a little bit. <laughs> just thought I'd fill you in, uh, fill you in there, guys, just in case there is a lot of you Yoji guys out there that are like huge, huge fans, which good on you. Honestly, it's just me. I don't know a whole lot and a little bit, but let's dive in. So Supreme X Yoji Yamamoto Fall Winter 2020 Collection. Featuring original artwork from San Chito, Peter Saville, and Yukura Asa Asakura. Don't know who any of those people are. <laughs> Don't know who any of those people are. Okay, so, following its latest team up with Vans, Supreme has now returned to reveal an unexpected collaboration with Yoji Yamamoto. Accompanying this week's Fall Winter 2020 Week 4 drop, the collaboration combines the store Japanese designer's unique fashion sensibilities and the New York skate imprint signature aesthetic with original artwork by Sanchito, Peter Saville, 
and Yukura Asakura. Uh, uh, y Yuka. Is it Yuka? Yuka Asakura. Standing as one of the most influential fashion designers and living and working today, Yoji Yamamoto is regarded as a master craftsman fuel, fueled by rebellious spirit. Over the last 50 years, Yoji Yamamoto has fundamentally affected how people dress with his transformative impact felt far beyond the runway. Oh boy, we got a... Oh, jeez. Just for all the hype beast kids out there that know nothing about him, we've got a full article here. Born in 1943, Yoji Yamamoto was raised by his dressmaker mother, Yumi. In Tokyo, his mother encouraged her, her song... <laughs> They can write this full article, but they can't spell check it. <laughs> her song, her son, to become an attorney, leading him to graduate from Kyo University in 1966 with a law degree. Straying the path he was on, Yoji noted he didn't want to join the ordinary society. I mean, a bit of a vibe there. God, who wants to get a degree, man? Boring. <laughs> and convinced his mother to let him work with her going on to pursue a degree at Boca Fashion College, which is one of the most iconic fashion colleges out there. Following his graduation, Yoji received a prize that would bring him to Paris, where he would help forge the, uh, the ready-wear movement emerging in the wake of uh, Hoyt Couture. Struggling to establish his work in France, the young designer would return to Tokyo, uh, Tokyo to fa uh, found his label Wise in 1972. Yoji found success with his first collection show in 1977, inspired by the uh, Burgundy punk movement. Returning to Paris in 1981, Yoji and Rei Kobakuro's early works helped revolutionize contemporary fashion through their uh, defiant, deconstructed garments and reggae mentality. Going against the hyper-feminine uh, formatting fit glamour uh, prevalent in the fashion at the time, Yoji Yamamoto introduced his expertise in masterful draping and playful androgyny. So the, the pieces flowed off people and they weren't explicitly masculine looking pieces of clothing. They weren't explicitly feminine pieces of clothing. It was the clothing of the future where anyone could wear it and it would just drape off you. Does that not just sound like the best type of clothing in the world? Uh, uh, rendered in black, his uh, pro protective, loose, and exaggerated shapes constructed of durable fa uh, fabrics welcomed possibilities of modern clothing. Today, Yoji caters to a dedicated global following and continues to break barriers between catwalk and street, luxury and sport, tradition and the avant-garde. Working closely with Supreme, Yoji Yamamoto prepared a Fall Winter 2020 collection that once again proves his progressive outlook through an unexpected yet sure to be sought after collaboration. I mean, uh, not to, okay, how do I put this lightly? Like, as uh, there are people coming to this collection for Yoji, there are people coming to this collection for Sp Supreme, even if Yoji Ghost designed this collection and it was just a Supreme collection, it would still be sought after. And... I feel like vice versa, even if Yoji just did this collection and Supreme, I don't know, Ghost gave him the materials or something, <laughs> uh, people would still go to it. So, I mean, it's honestly just a slam dunk in the sales section. Like, it's gonna sell. Like, it, it's, it's, it's gone off the shelves in like two seconds. The special range features a leather work jacket, down jacket, parka, wool suit, sweater, shirt, hooded sweatshirt, crew neck, five t-shirts, and a beanie. Ooh, that's a big collection. The street-leaning items expected showcase a uh, uh, reverence for black, but also includes tones of bold orange, red, khaki, green, and white through alternative color options, which is like very supreme colors there. Proudly marking the collaboration is an array of spray-painted graphics from artist Sanchito, imagery from famed art director graphics designer Peter Saville, and sketched work from painting and drawing artist Yuku, Yu, Yuka, Yuka Asakura. The Supreme X Yoji Yamamoto Fall Winter 2020 collection will see a global release via the Streetwear's imprint store, uh, website on September 17th in the United States and September 19th in Japan. And I can imagine it's gonna be way more sought after in Japan. Like people are just gonna go crazy 
for those pieces in Japan because it's literally one of Japan's most iconic designers working with an American streetwear brand that literally has shown Japan so much love with so many stores being opened in Japan absolutely crazy so uh, we have the lookbook images which I feel like I'm gonna skip out on and we'll just dive straight into the 40 images that we have of the collection I think we'll dive into it quite quickly because we have talked for a while about a lot of the collection so we'll just quickly browse all 40 images of the collection here and I'll give you my thoughts and opinions on what I like and don't like okay so to start it off with we have the leather jacket and that is a very very wide fitting leather jacket very very wide nothing on the front but then you get hit with the back and you get the huge graphic that says supreme yoji yamamoto and has a little graffiti style looking face here i mean I, I i'm not opposed to it i picked this up this is not a bad piece honestly if um if it comes my way i'll pick it up it's just a leather jacket with a nice little graffiti style graphic on the back of it can't say no to that comes in various different colors comes in a red which actually doesn't look too bad I don't mind that and they're the only two colors so you get it in black or red that's all you get I think either one's nice man I'd pick up either one of those it's probably gonna be mad expensive though but I mean not bad not bad okay next we have the suit with multiple different pockets on it crazy looking one already uh, features a game over graphic on the back of it comes with suit pants which are very casualized like look at that they've got like a elastic waistband drawstrings on suit pants yoji you wildin imagine making suit pants more casual crazy crazy <laughs> um yeah it looks like it only comes in one color so it's just a classic black suit this is actually pretty steezy though i would wear something like this i mean they're not going to make it in the big boy sizes that i would be able to wear but i would wear something like this there would be a time and a place where i could wear a yoji yamamoto supreme suit both blazer and pants i feel like i could get that to work next we have the i want to say the uh anrak huge pockets graffiti graphic on the front supreme yoji yamamoto on the back Ooh, I like the black and white one. Yeah, the contrasting graphic looks way better on the black one. Yeah, yeah, the black one. Definitely the black one. The black one looks sick. Yeah, I mean, I'd wear something like this. I would be more interested in the black one. But the, I mean, the, the green one's not too bad either. But yeah, nice, nice. Oh, like my favorite piece out of this whole collection. The flower Yoji Yamamoto Supreme Knit this is my favorite this this is like i know we haven't even looked at the other like 20 images but this is my favorite ah, i just want this give this to me in an extra large and i'm set man i i'm happy with that don't need anything else just give me an xl in the knit and we're good we're, we're fine with that no this is a really awesome piece love the little like 8-bit looking styled um flower on it the rose it's nice it's nice Nothing on the back of it besides a co-branded tag. Moving on, we have the dress shirt with this was tomorrow, another flower on the back of it. This is a nice dress shirt. I would pick this dress shirt. I would wear this dress shirt at work. While well, I'm working my, well, it's not a nine to five, my one till 9 p.m., <laughs> still eight hours. I would wear a dress shirt like this. They're actually very pro dress shirts at work. So I feel like I could even get away with wearing something like this. Um, oh, it comes in black. Honestly, give me either colorway, but I prefer the white. Okay, this is the first piece that I'm not a huge fan of, just because I don't like the silhouette. Like, I'm not a huge, like, puffer jacket Parker kind of guy. Like, this this is not my thing. Nothing against Yoji or Supreme. It's just, like, I, this isn't my thing. Although, pockets here in between the stuffing, that's pretty wild. That's pretty wild. Just co-branding on the back. Very simple piece. Uh, yeah, I, I'm not a huge fan of them. It comes in white. Oh my god, white puffer jacket. I think it looks better with the white because both the branding stay, um, really stands out. And I like it that it's like given a spray painted aesthetic to it. it. Comes in black. It also works very, very well in the black. I don't think the, I think the green's my least favorite, but yeah, definitely the black or the white's really nice. And oh, I kind of like this though really grungy it's really yeah i like this this like spray painted people's faces 
all over the piece and then just Supreme Yoji Yamamoto printed down the side. Look how thick the arms are on this hoodie. Like the cuffs are super thin on the um, sleeve, on the uh, wrists. And then it just goes super wide. Same with the actual body as well. Like it comes down to the waistline and it gets super thin. And it's just so wide. This is going to be a baggy, baggy fitting hoodie. And I love that. It's sick. I actually really like this color as well. Does it come in other colors? Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Where did this middle color come from? Oh, my God. Damn. Um, nah, you know what? All three are vibe. Give me all three. I will take all three. All three are actually pretty steezy. I could wear any of these three. This one's probably going to be the hardest one to wear, but, I mean, I could do it. I could, I could come up with an outfit for this one. That'd be a challenge, but that's pretty crazy. That's a pretty crazy hoodie collection there. Oh, yes, and we got crew neck sweaters. Okay, so these are just the co-branded crew. Yeah, okay. So four crew neck sweaters. Uh, they all come with just co-branding on the front. Not too crazy, but, you know, a nice little piece. You know, I wouldn't mind a white one. A white one wouldn't be too bad. Ooh, and I'm assuming this is Yoji Yamamoto uh, done in an art style of one of the three artists they mentioned earlier. I kind of like that. That's actually well done. I like the shirts. Eh, the fox one or the wolf one. Yeah, not as much game over yeah it was okay i liked it on the suit more the flower one that was on the button-up tees was all right and just a co-branded tee there and, oh and the new era beanies though and i hope that's embroidered it looks like it's embroidered that's cool no, your beanies aren't too bad. Well, there we go. That was the whole collection, guys. This was actually surprisingly quite good. I actually really, really like this collection. There are going to be some pieces on here that I'm going to be hunting for the next couple years because they'll go like, they'll they'll be sold and they'll like go into the depths of streetwear where it'll just like, it'll pop up and grail one day and for one day only. But yeah, no, there is some stuff here that I'm definitely looking to pick up. Uh, the hoodies I wouldn't mind. I would love to pick up the knit. That knit is awesome. Some of the tees aren't too bad. I don't own any Supreme tees, but I mean, I, we, I would be willing to make an exception for a Yoji Yamamoto Supreme tee. Even the beanies aren't too bad, honestly. Um, and yeah, give me the leather jackets. Either color. Give me either leather jackets. Yeah, no, I actually like this. This was a good collection. I had fun with this one, guys. Uh, I want to hear from you though, um, how do you feel about any of the pieces in this Yoji Yamamoto Supreme collaboration? Is there anything you like, anything you don't like, anything you're looking to pick up this week? How do you feel about this collection in general? Is it a yes? Is it a no? Do you hate that Yoji Yamamoto is even touching Supreme or vice versa? Uh, let me know. Let me know all your thoughts and opinions on the Yoji Yamamoto X Supreme collaboration for Supreme's Fall Winter 2020 collection. Let me know what you have to say about it down in that comment section below. And that's it guys, we've covered the release details, uh, all the pieces that are releasing, and my thoughts and opinions on the Yoji Yamamoto Supreme collaboration. Releasing this Thursday, the Supreme's week four drop. We will of course be doing a drop list video as soon as that information is available to us there. Uh, and it'll be a good time. I'm really, really keen for that. I really, really enjoyed this collection. I actually had a good time with it. Only piece that I would say with confidence that I would never wear is probably the puffer jacket. Just, I, It's just not my style. It's just not my style. But there was surprisingly large amounts of stuff here that was actually sick. The the knit is like a, um, I need it. Like, I need the knit. Like, if, as I said, if I just get the knit, that's all good. That's all I need. But I wouldn't mind, you know, maybe down the line, picking up a piece here, picking up a piece there. There's some nice stuff here. I want to hear from you guys though. I want to hear if you disagree or agree with me or if you just, you know, if you like this collection or don't like this collection. Let me know down in that comment section below. And of course, we are trying to aim for our new milestone guys. So if you want me to keep doing more videos, you want me to keep doing more Supreme coverage, more Yoji Yamamoto coverage, don't forget to leave a big old like on this video, comment in the comment section down below and subscribe to the channel as we are trying to aim for a new milestone this month of 2,700 subscribers. It has been a bit of a slow month for us this month, guys, but that's okay. You can't have amazing months every month of the year. Hopefully with your continuous support, re we can reach 2,700 subscribers before September ends. But that's everything I got to say about this collection, guys. Uh, unfortunately, this video will come out a little bit late because I've got to go do my eight hour shift now uh, at work. I'll be thinking about this collection the whole time I'm doing uh, you know, my work. I'll be like, damn. That was solid. <laughs> 
So uh, I'll have this video edited and uploaded when I come back from work. But yeah, until the next Supreme release, until the next Droplist video, until the next Yoji Yamamoto video, guys, I'll catch you later.